After making one of the most impressive splashes of recent memory with content creation on social media, influencer, comedian, and all-around hilarious guy Steve Will Do It was faced with the scary prospect of losing everything he had worked so hard for when YouTube decided to de-platform him after he had amassed nearly 5 million subscribers. But now Steve has a second chance thanks to a new deal that he's struck with video sharing platform known as Rumble. In September of last year, Steve announced a new partnership with the company in which he promised to produce exclusive weekly video content for this independent startup that's been designed to be immune to cancel culture. Considering he's got himself something of a fresh start with this new opportunity, it only makes sense that Steve Will Do It is wiping the whole slate clean and starting over in terms of his home life, as well with his recent move to Las Vegas, Nevada. A lot of Steve's decision to move to Vegas has to do with things outside of the home where he lived. After all, Vegas is a popular vacation destination for a reason, largely because there's never a shortage of options when it comes to entertainment. Steve likes to live as exciting a life as possible with frequent trips to Red Rock Casino where he not only gambles nonstop, but gets to take advantage of the place's numerous amenities. Oh, and did I mention that he lived there for about a month as well? Because he did. As much as Steve Will Do It enjoyed living like a prize fighter getting ready for a big Vegas payday, he quickly came to realize that the real estate prices in Vegas compared to other cities on the West Coast, in particular Los Angeles, were dirt cheap. Fucking Las Vegas is for like 5,000 square feet, you can get a million dollar home, and that in Miami is like $5 million. So, while Steve was out of state attending to some business, he sent his parents to house hunt for him in Vegas, and eventually they stumbled upon a real beauty. And what do you know? As part of his exclusive deal with Rumble, Steve recently invited his 554,000 followers on this platform to check out the inside of his new place. So, why don't we do the same? Now, before we step foot inside of Steve's actual residence, let's start with his RV, which is parked outside of his new home and is where one of his employees lives while helping Steve create his content. The interior of this RV is about as luxurious as these things come. Not only does it have tile floors and a whole bunch of windows, but it boasts stylish dark cherry wood cabinets everywhere you look alongside a flat screen TV with the fireplace right underneath it. Towards the far back of the unit is the bedroom and bathroom, while a few short feet from there is the kitchen space with marble counters and stainless steel appliances. There's also an extremely tiny table that's big enough to sit to alongside a couple of lengthy couches if you need a little extra room to spread out. Once you exit Steve's RV, you'll come face to face with his new home, sitting behind a massive iron gate that slides open with the push of a button. Walking up the property's long and winding driveway, you'll find that the front of Steve's mansion features an overhang jutting out from the entry so that you can park a vehicle under some much needed shade. Trust me, in the Las Vegas heat, that is a must, especially if your vehicle features leather seats. Just past there is the tiled front porch covered by an awning that features two large black doors through which you can enter the home. Once you're inside, you'll probably notice that Steve has more work to do before this place is complete. After all, the guy just moved in. That being said, he has already installed one of the home's most important features, a stormtrooper standing guard over the front entry. Stepping down from the front door brings you into the main living space of the unit, an open concept living room with a marble fireplace accompanied by a state-of-the-art kitchen. As you can tell, Steve's lacking in the furniture department right now with only one relatively small couch sitting in the middle of that space. Even his dogs don't know what to do with all that freedom. He might not have much in the way of furniture, but when it comes to decor, Star Wars isn't the only popular franchise that's been well represented in Steve's home. Located at different spots around his main living space, you'll also find life-size replicas of Tom Holland's Spider-Man, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, and even Ben Affleck's Batman. Not far from there is Steve's kitchen, which includes two lengthy marble-topped kitchen islands, one of which features additional bar seating with a stone 
and finish. Otherwise, the rest of his kitchen surprisingly resembles like the inside of his RV, with dark wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and a large built-in shelving unit that partitions the living room from the kitchen. On the opposite end of the house, you'll find Steve's master suite. And while it doesn't look like much either right now because he hasn't finished setting it up, you can still tell it's got potential. It's not only got enough space for a king-sized bed, but the room also includes an ensuite bathroom with steps leading up to a deep soaking jacuzzi koozie tub and separate glass shower. There are also two walk-in closets where Steve keeps his classic collection of tank tops as well as a high-powered weapon, you know, just in case. All right, now that we've got some idea of what Steve's home is like on the inside, let's check out the great outdoors. The interior of Steve Will Do It's new home might not be set up perfectly quite yet, but his backyard is always gonna be worth showing off. Boasting numerous palm trees, emerald green grass, and a series of stone pathways, Steve's backyard is a tropical paradise situated literally in the middle of a desert. If it ever gets too hot while relaxing under one of those gorgeous palms, Steve or his girlfriend Selena can hop right into their incredible geometrically shaped pool. As refreshing as that must feel for all you car lovers out there, you're gonna love this next bit because right next to the pool is enough space for Steve to park his endless series of sports vehicles. Seriously, his collection is so extensive that when the cars are all parked in a row, the line stretches from the very back of the property all the way out to the front. And that's not even all of them. He's still missing two. Since there's no way that Steve could even fit a small percentage of those whips into his garage, he decided to repurpose that space into a home gym, complete with a treadmill, pop-up sauna, and a tanning bed too. A side door from the garage will lead you directly back into Steve's kitchen, which means we've now come full circle with our tour and seen everything every corner of Steve's new property, at least when it comes to what he's been willing to show off so far. Steve will do its new deal with Rumble, must be paying him pretty well if he can afford new digs like this stunning home. And while it might not be massive inside, it has everything he could possibly need, including all that wide open outdoor space for his jaw-dropping car collection. All right, folks, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head out, consider answering the following question. What's the one drawback to Vegas that would have you second guessing living there full time? Let me know if it's the heat, the tourists, or something else entirely in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name's Kara. If you'd like to check out a whole other tour right now, then stay tuned because coming up will take you inside the town that Mr. Beast just bought. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Jimmy Donaldson is the everyday civilian name of the social media titan and influencer most of us probably know best as Mr. Beast. Now he's a content creator whose YouTube channel has exploded in popularity over the past few years, largely off the back of a series of very expensive, not to mention creative stunts. Hard as it may be to believe now, while well, Mr. Beast comes from some very humble beginnings, having been raised primarily in a suburban household in Greenville, North Carolina. Now today he's worth over an estimated $100 million, but he's still living in a relatively modest home in the same general area as to where he grew up. Now, before we go a little deeper into exploring Mr. Beast's actual house, I want to provide you all with some context as to where this home is located because Mr. Beast didn't just buy any old house in any old neighborhood. No, he bought himself a house in an area of a town that he's been slowly purchasing for years. That's right, on an unassuming cul-de-sac just southeast of Greenville, North Carolina, well, Mr. Beast has been scooping up one home after another for for himself and his family and his employees. According to the New York Post, well, Jimmy's house buying endeavor, it began with the purchase of his own unit for a paltry $320,000 back in 2018. And over the next handful of years, well, Jimmy would continue to discreetly add to his real estate portfolio, bringing his current grand total of properties located on the street to five. Now, according to records, well, he bought the second home in 2020 for 263,000, followed by an additional three other properties, all of which were bought off market for a combined total of 1.45 million. Now, of those individuals who sold their home to Mr. Beast is a man named Aaron Bowden. Now, Aaron, he came to an agreement with Jimmy in 2022, and he told the New York Post, we negotiated back and forth, and it had to be worth my while, and he wasn't gonna buy if it wasn't worth his while. Even after securing five homes, well, Jimmy still has one last property left to buy on the street. But according to Aaron, well, it's rather unlikely Mr. Beast will be able to add this property to his growing collection because the children who live there have yet to complete their education at the nearby 
nice school. Now, Aaron, he continued to the New York Post. It's the best school district in the area and they have kids in school. I wouldn't know anything for a fact because I don't walk in their shoes, but they may change their minds when their kids are out of high school and off to college. In terms of the here and now, well, it has been confirmed by Jimmy's representation that his residence in this neighborhood will become his home base for this foreseeable future. Now, whenever he's not busy traveling for work or shooting out of his studio nearby, that is. So why don't we take a closer look at what's inside Mr. Beast's new home? In 2022 alone, Variety reported that Mr. Beast, he earned an estimated 54 million. He then used a not insubstantial amount of that money to buy a handful of suburban properties. But here's the surprising thing. They're all kind of mid, especially Jimmy's. Following a burglary in his previous home, well, Jimmy bought his two-story, four-bedroom, four-bathroom property that occupies nearly 3,000 square feet back in 2018. Now inside the house, it boats the kitchen that features newly installed granite countertops, along with a breakfast bar, kitchen table, and a pantry. There's also a nearby family room that comes complete with a gas log fireplace, as well as huge windows that allow for plenty of natural light. Now elsewhere on that same level is the primary suite, which includes an ensuite bathroom with a double vanity, as well as a whirlpool tub and a shower. Meanwhile, up top on the second floor, where you'll discover the other three bedrooms, their corresponding en suites, as well as a laundry room and an extra space that can be converted into an office or a den. Now outdoors, well, the place is modest, but far from spectacular. Now amenities, they're said to include a screened in rear porch, a patio, a basketball court, and even a separate storage building for all those props and collectibles Mr. Beast has no doubt accumulated over the years. Now, once Jimmy had completed the purchase of this home, well, he began quietly buying up the surrounding properties. Now, some of the people he bought from had lived in this neighborhood for their entire lives. Others had been there for just about a year, but the three families that capitalized by selling their home for a combined 1.45 million, well, they have now all retired to the beach or elsewhere in the surrounding area. None of them seem to be too displeased over what happened either. Now, others, however, well, they've had more of a mixed reaction when they found out about Mr. Beast going full Mr. Rogers and started his very own neighborhood. Now, once the wider world at large found out about Mr. Beast's brand new town, many of them had thoughts. Now, some praised the content creator's generosity, not to mention his genius, carving out his own little corner of the planet to share with the people closest to him. Others, though, they accused him of starting a company town. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the term, well, a company town is a place where residential and retail property is all owned by the employer of the people who live there. Now, this is criticism that Elon Musk has faced with the recently uh, well, proposed towns he's building for his Tesla and SpaceX employees, which is located out in Texas. Now, these types of settlements, they've popped up over the years, generally in the coal, steel, and lumber industries. And historically speaking, well, they've been found to repress an employee, you know, like their working conditions, their rights. So that's why there are some who are now wondering if Mr. Beast is going to stop short by just securing himself an entire neighborhood. I mean, what if he wanted to buy an entire state next? Now, of course, with questions like that being thrown around, Around, well, it didn't take long for this entire discourse to become so outrageous that a frustrated Mr. Beast, well, he responded by suggesting that only he could be canceled for trying to give people a place to live without any strings attached. Now, as far as he's concerned, well, Jimmy, he was just trying to help and he doesn't understand why what he's doing is being characterized by some as culty. Now, one of the people that he wanted to help and who's now living in a home Jimmy bought is his childhood friend and recent headline magnet, Chris Tyson. Now, Chris has his buddies back just like how Jimmy has had his throughout the entire hormone replacement therapy news cycle, even if it was a tongue-in-cheek sort of way. Now, Chris obviously isn't serious about moving out of his new neighborhood, and why would he? Until he starts hearing rumors about how Jimmy is suddenly hiking up everyone's rent, while also forcing them to shop at retail outlets he secretly is the owner of. Well, what are we really complaining about here? I mean, is it any surprise that a man who wants to help the near-blind see again might also want to provide for those people who support him the most? I, for one, I'm looking forward to see what Mr. Beast turns this neighborhood into over the next few years, not to mention how it eventually comes to impact the content he creates. Now, years from now, we might look back at this moment as a turning point in his career, for good or for bad. Now, until we know for sure, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I guess that'll bring us to the end of our latest edition of House Tours here on Famous Entertainment. Before I leave you guys, I do have a question for you. Who's the first person in your inner circle you'd gift a home to if you owned an entire neighborhood? I'm sure Kara would have given a house to that dog. So that's what came to my mind. Actually, send some love and support to Kara. She's Kara the Vampire Slayer over on Instagram and uh, send her some hearts because she's just devastated with the loss of her Shiro. And uh, if you guys know us, if you're if you're if you've been following us for years, you know that dog man.
meant everything to both of us. 